Back in this country tonight, there are now definitive facts to prove what we all felt was true during this very bizarre winter season just passed. Some places witnessed summer arriving in March, really. A ton of records fell and violent weather hit across a lot of the country. Our report tonight from our chief environmental affairs correspondent, Ann Thompson. This is a tornado. Extreme weather blew March 2012 into the record books. It saw almost three times the average number of reported tornadoes. NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, says our unusually warm weather created conditions favorable for twisters. And while there's no one culprit to blame for the rising thermometer, there is a prime suspect. Right now we have a climate on steroids. What we mean by that is greenhouse gases continue to increase in the atmosphere. The average temperature this March, 51.1 degrees, 8.6 degrees above normal. This time-lapse animation from NOAA shows where the 15,000-plus records were broken. Every state in the nation set at least one daily record high in March. March brought rain and drought relief to eastern Texas and parts of Oklahoma. But above the tree line on the Rocky Mountains near Boulder, Colorado, there is bare ground where there should be snow. Colorado's snowpack just 49% of average. Less snow means less water for Tim Farrell's organic farm. Today he laid down a barrier to hold in moisture for his strawberries. But without water, he may have to make a tough choice. We would try to save our fruit trees and we would then have to let go all of our vegetables. NOAA's forecast is for this warming trend to continue, particularly in the mid-Atlantic and southern sections of the country. And nowhere is it predicted to be colder than normal. Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York.